Hello and a very warm welcome to Love Audio. My name is Paul Weber, and a great pleasure to welcome you to the stream. Uh, it's great to have you along, uh, whether it's this evening, this morning, this afternoon, wherever you happen to be listening around the world, uh, then you're very welcome to the show. Uh, and do let me know in the comments, especially if you're new here, but also type that you're here so we know we can shout you out as well, okay? So, what is Love Audio Production? What is it all about? Well, it's a safe, fun, and friendly and hopefully entertaining platform for you to learn the basics in audio production. So if you're on board with that, let's get on with it, shall we? <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple of people to say hi to, first of all. Hello to uh, Rich Vibes in the house. Hello to Rich. Rich you can find on Mixcloud, mixcloud.com. He's got a great DJ channel on there. goes live every Sunday night, 7 p.m. Uh, you've got to watch it. It's great, great music. And uh, he links it all together, does a kind of disco show in his own house. Um, and, yeah, it's a safe way to in enjoy all of that great music. So, well done, Rich. Good to see you along tonight. Ina's in the house from Denmark. Hello to you, Ina. He says, I'm old. But new, I am old new, he says, <laughs> which is uh, really funny as well. Thank you very much indeed for that. Uh, good to have you along. Now, um, tonight's stream, as I um, mentioned in the description, and, and you've probably seen it so far today, is uh, I wanted to talk about websites. Why is it so important to have a website these days? Um, you know, you, you, there's plenty of social media platforms and all that kind of stuff. But why have a website? Websites are very, very important. And uh, we want to make sure that uh, if you do have a presence on the internet, make sure it's a, a place that you can use as a base and, uh, and get all your information up there as well. So that whilst people are looking at you on social media, they can also transfer across and look at content that you may have exclusively on your website, perhaps, that, uh, that maybe you don't have anywhere else. So it's a great idea to get a website together. If you don't already have one, uh, I strongly suggest that you do get one. Now, I was going to have a guest on tonight, but he seems to have disappeared off of, off of the face of the earth. So I'll wait until he comes back in the room and uh, I'll introduce him properly for you. Um, but as, at the moment, all I can see is a black screen. So we'll, we'll wait for a second and uh, get him to come back on in, in a while. Uh, I did see him just now. I know he's, he's waiting in the wings. He's almost in the green room, if you like. So um, I do know he's on his way. And... Um, I'm looking forward to getting his spin on websites and, and that kind of thing and why it's so important to have a presence there as well. Uh, let me know in the comments, do you have a website currently? And if you do, uh, then that's great. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whether you do or don't, uh, in the comments if you can. And uh, we'll shout you out as well, okay? Um, if you're looking to build a website, there are numerous... Um, not necessarily free, but certainly low-cost ways of building your own website, even if it's just one page. You know, a lot of voiceover artists that I know, they, lo they do a lot of things on social media, but the, the main thing that they use to get business is their website, okay? It's very important to have a presence on, on the, any kind of website, so, you know, make sure you have one. And it, like I say, if you don't, there's a great way that you can build up your own website, even if it's just like a one page uh, document, really, uh, that's up there. So uh, do um, let us know in the comments whether you've got a website or not. Uh, we're going to take a look at my website particularly. Now, you'll find this and I have a, a thing specifically designed for it. Give me two seconds while I bring it up. So you know what it's like. <laughs> Where did I put that? Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, so this is my uh, website. We're going to take a look at it in a second. Uh, loveaudio.co.uk is, uh, there's Matt, brilliant. He's, he's in the green room now. He's, he's almost ready to go. Um, yeah, so this is my website. It's um, loveaudio.co.uk. We're going to take a quick look at it um, on here. So this is the front page and um, you can see across the top there's some menus. So you've got home there, you've got on hold marketing, which is what I do um, for businesses that you know, want to put their callers on hold or transfer them even for a few seconds at a time. What do they hear? Is it silence? Is it beeps? Or is it badly played music? Sometimes that is the case. What I do is is kind of replace all of that with professional on hold marketing messages uh, that are designed to tell their callers what it is they do. Because I can guarantee you that your best customer doesn't know everything about you. 
So it's a great opportunity to, if they're going to call you, they're going to call you for a reason. Either they're interested in your product or service, or they want to know more about you or or whatever your brand is or whatever you're selling, okay? So the idea of a website is that um, you can point people to that. But the idea of the telephone on hold thing is that whilst they're calling you, they can listen to a little message about you whilst they're on hold, even for 10, 15 seconds at a time. You'd be surprised the amount of businesses that I deal with that have used that as an upsell. It's absolutely brilliant. It's a great tool to use. Okay. So without further ado, let me bring on my first guest this evening. Um, he is already prolific, I would say, on YouTube and various other platforms, but, but predominantly YouTube because his channel is all about YouTube. It's all things YouTube and it's got to be the one and only Matt Haas. There he is. Hello, sir. Uh, and I have no audio from you, sir, but I do at my end. Thanks for having me. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you need to be a little bit louder if you can. You got it. No problem. All right. How's things in, where are you, Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania, that's right. There's snow on the ground. It's not snowing, but it's all good here. And uh, I am ready to rock and roll and talk audio and talk websites. Fantastic. Well, it, it, we're, I'm in the South Devon area of the UK, and um, we haven't had any snow so far. The Southeast has had it really badly, and they've got this storm coming in from, um, from the east. And last time this happened, back in 2015, I think it was, it was called The Beast from the East. Uh, 2016 maybe 2016 17 but it was it was literally the beast from the east came in dumped a load of snow on us and we couldn't move for days it was just chaos so we've had none down here in the southwest having said that there's a big front moving in from the southwest that might hit us tomorrow lunchtime afternoon so you know we're looking at that with interest to see if it see how it goes <laughs> yeah, let's uh, hope that doesn't happen that's uh, let's hope it doesn't happen exactly so matt tell us a little bit about what you do and and um Give us your, you know, the, the various platforms that you're on, predominantly, of course, as I said before, on YouTube. But uh, but obviously then with regards to your work within websites, tell us a little bit about that if you can. Excellent. Sure. Well, I'm all over the YouTubes, as, as you know. Um, I do have some other social media platforms. I run a few groups on Facebook. And um, that's where I mostly am. For websites... I have done a lot of work with websites. I keep track of the admin codes that I have that to control websites and the, the lifetime count is 104. So I've helped a lot of people get well, online. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. How many? 104. Websites? Websites. Separate clients I have the, or, or so, some multiples for each client? How does that work? Some, some are multiples for yeah. each client. Otherwise they're, there uh, and a lot of them you know are small businesses you know they they rise up and then they're no longer around sure. so they're not all active but my career as a web developer i have over my lifetime created 104 websites a lot of them were drupal at first and then turned into wordpress wordpress is just fantastic okay and there's one website i wrote from the ground up um that manages a manufacturing process. Mm. So yeah. Wow. Um, I know a lot about the websites and I was a contributor to the W3C. That's the World Wide Web Consortium. And yeah. they created HTML and HTML5 and CSS. And I was focused on the digital uh, book format, the EPUB file format. So I helped govern that file form, boy, that was a lot of fun. A lot of geeks, a lot of nerds, very intelligent people that are there. They know how the internet works from the code level up. It's, it was yeah. crazy. A um, couple of people on the stream. Um, Ina from Denmark, much snow here, minus four degrees. Yeah, you're sending it all our way, Ina. So thanks very much for that. Um, <laughs> uh, Ina says, hi, Matt. So um, he's recognizing that you're in the in the show tonight, which is really cool. I and know, uh, your other you? channel, Awesome Wood Things, is somehow here. God, how does that happen? That's just, you know, the, the power of the internet. There it is, <laughs> uh, which is really cool. Um, Ina says he's preparing one currently, not totally finished yet. And he works in WordPress as well. So, um, so that's a good thing, right? Yep. Can I share some business things for, for websites, why they're a good idea? Of course you can. Let me just go to full screen for you. There you go. Oh, thank you. Well, as you know, I love websites. I've, I've done a lot of I've 10. I have 10 just for myself that are active right now. So that's fun. Um, the reason you should have one is you own it. 
it's yours. You can do whatever you want. No one can take it away from you within reason. <laughs> and it should be your home base for all of the information that, that, that you have. When you're on Facebook, for example, and you post something, how do you know how many notices are going out? How do you know how many people are interacting with? You don't, you control your website. And also I'm a big fan of email lists. I know this isn't an email list topic, but when you have a website, it's very mm. easy to hook in an email list. Then you've got control of your customer. So for that reason, you own it. It'll always be there. If you lose your password on Facebook or someone hacks you, mm -hmm. my, my colleague lost his Facebook account, couldn't get it back, tried everything possible. Someone went in, and set up two factor, locked him out, and then completely trashed his whole lifetime experience on Facebook. Th that, that can't happen on a website. Mm -hmm. Get yourself yeah. a website. We've got uh, we've got some comments in. Uh, Rich Vibes um, just said that this is perfect. I was thinking about this a few weeks ago. So um, Rich is a DJ, and um, he and I did a New Year's Eve stream together, which was cool. And Rich is looking to build his own website alongside the things he does on Mixcloud and, and YouTube and Facebook and all that kind of thing. So um, I know that you, you've dealt probably with websites that are e-commerce. Mine isn't an e-commerce website currently, but that's not to say that it won't be in the future. Do you do you recommend that, that, that um, clients look towards that if they want to sell anything on their website, for instance? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's... Um... There's some pros and cons about selling stuff on your own website. I, of course, like doing it. I, um, I'm a big fan of WooCommerce. That's a plugin for WordPress that gives you a shopping cart. Um, when you sell something on your own website, you've got complete control of the transaction. If you sell something on Etsy, you have to pay to list your item on Etsy. You have to pay a commission to Etsy. But on the other hand, Etsy, will have an audience. So they've, they've got a built in uh, social media network that, mm. that will bring people to you. So you, it just depends where you are in your business life cycle. Do you have a large audience that you can direct people to? Boom, open up uh, your store on the website. A lot of people do both since it's yeah. so easy and cheap to have a store on your own website. They'll, they'll sell on some other site a system like Etsy or, or wherever, mm. and then they'll have their own. And then if they catch some sales on their own website, well, then that's higher profit because you're not giving the cut. Well, and, and now you can, um, you can sell on Facebook. I've just, I've just put a Facebook um, shop on my, on my, um, my business page. Oh, Jack says Etsy banned her. Well, yeah. And that's, that's the other thing. No one can ban you from your own website unless you no. get a DMCA takedown notice, but that's a whole other com conversation. Sure. There's, there's another business strategy. If you're a content creator mm -hmm. to have a website, and that is if you are an affiliate of someone, a lot of affiliates. So in other words, I'm an Ecamm affiliate. So Ecamm mm -hmm. is streaming software. Yeah. Um, a lot of places will look to see if you have a website and they'll reject you if you don't. So if you're just a YouTuber mm -hmm. or you just stream on Facebook live and you don't have a website and you want to be an affiliate and you want to send people to other people's courses or send people to Amazon or send people to Ecamm or VMAX, if to their affiliate program, you might not be eligible. So you need, you need that. And then it's also, uh, it's not required, but for AdSense, for mm -hmm. YouTube, it's just a whole lot easier if you have a website. You can unlock some features and kind of get some more stuff. If You don't have to have a website to have AdSense, but it it's certainly uh, is easier if you do. So a, get a, a website. I love it's websites. It's a, a big plus and a big thumbs up, yeah. Um, interestingly, uh, Wits on, he said, um, damn, I just canceled my two domains and hosting plans. My timing is off. What do you recommend that Wit does? In that in that respect, I I have a fun story about uh, I, I tried to um, buy the misspelling of my name because ah. my name is commonly misspelled with two S's on the end. Yeah, and some other person had it, and he was running his business under the misspelling of of the last name, and uh, he wouldn't uh, give it up. 
He wouldn't give it up. And every year I, I could see he only registered it for one year. Mm -hmm. And this went on for 10 years. I was monitoring this website for 10 years. Wow. I finally got it. He finally, he abandoned it. And I went to a uh, auction and I failed the auction and, right. it, and someone else owned it. And someone else owned it for a year. They said, give me $1,200 and you can have it. I was like, no, I'm not paying that. So I waited till they abandoned it. Yep. And then I went to auction again. I finally got it. So if you go to matthaas.com, misspelled right. H A double S. Yeah. I have a funny little animation that teaches you how to spell it correctly. And then it forwards to the right side. Do you know what? That's that's a really interesting topic. Did, did you want, did you see Pat Flynn the other day on his stream? He was telling us about the fact that that Pat Flynn dot com, his personal web page, he's trying to promote that more and more now, which is brilliant. Okay. Pat Flynn said um, that he tried to get Pat Flynn dot com. The guy that had that owned it would not give it up. He said, "Give me fifty thousand dollars, and it's yours." And and they bartered. They you know he he just walked away from the deal in the end. But yeah. here's the rub, right? He waited. He was patient. And he got back in touch with the guy that was selling it and managed to get it for a knockdown price because the guy was desperate to get a piece of equipment, right? Yeah. Okay. Just bought it for $5,000. Done. Patflynn.com. And it's now got millions of views and, you know, all that, all that kind of thing. And the rest is history sort of thing. But, you know, it's worth holding out if you've got that domain that needs to... I mean, I was lucky back in... Hang on a minute. I've had loveaudio.co.uk for... When was I? Oh my gosh, it's got to be 25 years. No, it can't be, can it? What year are we in now? 2021. Well, maybe it was. Maybe it was, yeah. So before the year 2000, I'm sure of it. Or maybe just after that, maybe 2003. So I've had this domain since 2003. And I love it. Nice. And I managed to get, you know, um, Twitter was Love Audio. Um, various other things that I, that I use I managed to get you know and, and that kind of thing so it's worth holding out for if you if you've got that particular domain that you need to to kind of grasp and get hold of which is cool um whilst you're on Matt I just wanted to um show the audience my website and, and get your feedback audibly if I can I'm going to put myself on pip there I haven't loaded the That's two good. person pip up so my apologies for that but it, people can still hear you time in the world Paul just to yeah up. so this is um so this is my my website uh Matt and it's you know, like a banner across the top with a mixing desk in the background. And then there's a scroll button there and you go down and there's like this, let's begin, uh, more tech on the right, telephone on hold, marketing messages, let's chat. And then you've got like the studio as well. So people can hire the studio, obviously not during COVID, but you know, at other times, which is cool. So it gives a description of the gear. Um, and then you've got uh, different tabs across the top, of course. So you've got on hold marketing. So that takes you straight to that page there. Okay, and it's audio production, branding and positioning, finished production, as easy as one, two, three. Um, interested in our services, request a call. DJ services, that's been updated recently. So obviously I can't DJ currently, but, um, you know, weddings, karaoke, corporate dues, birthdays, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the bottom of every page has got the contact details on and some, um, some links for fine fellows that I, that I like to support. I dig uh, it. Which is cool. All the socials are there and they all link to, to wherever we go, wherever they should go to. So your general thoughts, just very briefly, if you wouldn't mind, just a quick overview about how you think that looks currently. Sure thing. Well, I, I love clean websites. I love short phrases. I don't like long paragraph, unless it's a, a blog and you're writing a uh, article. Sure. But um, your menus seem, seem short and descriptive. There's... Um, there's obviously a lot of white space. You're not smashing everything into the available real estate, which can look kind of garish and, and ugly. You're not doing that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's always good, no matter what type of content you're creating, and this applies to websites as well, put yourself in the mind of the viewer or the reader. You know, what are they looking at? And what 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 do you think they're going to get when they click something? So if mm -hmm. they click a header on your website, yeah. Are they going to get what they expected when they clicked it? And when people test websites, they'll put a screen in front of them, show them the interface, circle the tab and say, question one, mm -hmm. what do you think you're going to get when you click that tab? And yeah. then they're going to write the answer. Then they click it and then they say, is this what you expected? <laughs> and then they rate it up and so, down. So would so, you describe that as a journey then that the client goes on or the, or the, the viewer goes on and, and you have to make sure 
that every step of the way that client has a as a smooth journey yes have a, has a smooth journey mm. and you're meeting the expectations even if you haven't declared what those expectations are the perceived yeah. expectations and remember that people are on your website to get a question answered what mm -hmm. question are they answering and are you, so that's how people think and if people use the search feature of your website sometimes wordpress will tell you how often that's being used search is a failure because if someone's searching for something they couldn't find it easily ah. or they thought they couldn't find it easily i'm so, pleased you said that yeah. because my my site doesn't have a search bar on it which is great it means everybody should be able to find what they should be looking for <laughs> most <laughs> of my sites do not have a search bar because yeah. i've really taken the time <clears throat> to lay out the information um i like uh, for menu options, this is mm -hmm. just a nitpicky thing. I like singular words. Yep. So you wouldn't put um, projects and then oh, you okay. see all your, pro you would just be project and then you okay. would see all of them. I, it's just a, a UI a thing. It's thing, not though, anything it? hard and fast and you could certainly do it either way. Yeah, because I, I, I mean, I've, I've got on hold marketing, but because I have to describe what it is, then I've got DJ services, voiceovers, mm -hmm. the studio legal and then if i may just show you this very briefly i know you've got to go because you've <clears throat> you've got another meeting to go to no nope, so no nope, i have time oh good okay cool well i'll show you just briefly then in that case uh, this is something i did today only just today and i was really in the in the english language we call it chuffed and you you questioned that word earlier chuffed means you're pleased with the, with the idea <laughs> which yeah. is great uh, so this is this is um this is my blog so it's on the top of the um task bar at the at the website it's got blog and you click the blog and it comes down here with a <clears throat> a picture of actually that picture's out of date because that's my old mixing desk so i <laughs> just noticed i need to update that um but anyway you scroll down and i've i've uploaded three episodes of of the of the podcast that i that i have on podbean.com Oh and great! Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, and this is how it works. So, for instance, I'll choose I'll choose episode three, which is the one nearest to us there, and then number two and the number one. I'll choose episode three. That was last week's, um, and I did I did a the premiere on YouTube with this particular podcast, but as a video form. So, with the interview with the client, which is really cool, and it was our friend um, Bruce Cameron from Scotland. Great! Yeah. So, so it's got like a banner there, which is cool. And that kind of goes up and down as you can see, as I scroll and then you've got the title. So, you know, well, not the title, but certainly a description of it. So, uh, signage interpreter, which gives you a effect. Yeah. How, how, it's, it's quite good. I like image that. sort of floats underneath the available. Yeah. Window. It looks quite cool. And it keeps the love audio cafe thing in, in the, in the profile, which is, which is what I like. <laughs> nice. And then I've embedded the podbean.com player into the, yeah, the into the, the blog yeah so all you do is click this do, do you have the rss feed uh where you can subscribe through a, through a podcatcher and a very warm welcome to on the, the website love audio cafe uh no i tried i tried with the the rss feed and i i failed miserably so um i went back to this option by embedding the um the actual thing into the website so um I, d I may need some training on that if you've got 10 minutes sometime. yeah sure <laughs> sure I've, I, I've, I have uh, the link for I've... it and yeah copied and pasted it but it, it just was not working for me so um if you have any tips and gratefully received you got it i can help you through that i'm i've just launched my second podcast i had a podcast a few years ago so i know a lot about the technical aspects of setting up a podcast and yeah uh, Bruce has just joined the channel. Actually, he says, um, "Well, I logged in at exactly the right time." <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Brufalu, Brulafu. I keep calling it Brufalu. I shouldn't do that. Brulafu is on. So thank you very much indeed. Um, Ina says, "I just finished education as digital coordinator with Google Online. Um, hope all this will help me in my further project or further in my project." So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure what Google Online is, but if uh... If you got some training through the Googles, that's obviously a good thing. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, my son, Tom, has just joined as well, uh, otherwise known as HDMB for drum and bass. Uh, thanks for joining the stream, Tom. Uh, we're talking about websites tonight. I thought you had and, a cool uh, dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who's another DJ, by the way? He, he mixes and, and, um, and creates drum and bass music. And my oh, other sweet. son, Ben, DJs drum and bass music. 
me i can't stand the stuff but you know i'm a i'm a soul and funk man from the 70s and 80s there you go hands up <laughs> i feel you daddy oh which is pretty cool hey listen um i'm gonna just leave it there because i know that you've got to got to hop off onto another meeting so um i'm gonna say thank you so much for joining matt really appreciate your input and, thanks for having uh, me on I'm, I'm glad to help any way that i can absolute pleasure now just tell everybody where they can find you of course well here's my website oh there we go there we go <laughs> all things youtube.com brilliant yeah you can find the podcast and you can find my course at yeah. this site so and his course is it. brilliant by the way so um yeah if you're looking to to get better at your youtube um uh, efforts then get yourself over to all things youtube.com website you'll find matt's course there um, how many videos in that course now, Matt? 32 are absolutely free. You can take without giving me any money. And there's five that you can unlock for a one-time $15 fee. But the free stuff can get you going. Uh, Christina just launched her YouTube channel. She took my free course, followed all of my advice. Yep. Day one, her, her, her YouTube channel is looking awesome. She's five years ahead of someone just trying to cobble it together on their own. I'm so happy and so proud. <laughs> well, you'll be glad to know that um, she is um, collaborating with a good friend of mine, Peter, who designed the end graphics and also the intro. Um, hang on. He designed this. And the longer version, which appears at the end of the uh, the stream as well. Um, and he's working with her in order to get the graphics and everything right. So I think it's a collaboration there. And it looks spot on, as you say. It looks really professional. Yeah. Good. I love it. I love it. All right, Matt, thank you so much again for joining. Um, don't forget, everybody, make sure you get over to allthingsyoutube.com. Click on Matt's uh, YouTube channel as well. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. You can do the same with this, by the way, as well. So make sure you subscribe if you've not done so already. <laughs> um, because that's really important. Um, so, oh, and I don't forget to slap here. that. Yeah, slap the bell as well. And that'll uh, let you know when we're going live next time. And um, yeah, look forward to seeing you again soon, Matt. Thank you so much for joining. I'll be around. Thanks, Paul. Take, Take care. care. All right. So uh, yeah, Ina says, uh, nice to see you again, Matt. That's really cool. Um, H D M B, otherwise known as Tom, says uh, we've been listening to a lot of soul and funk recently. To be fair, which is good, good to have diversity. <laughs> uh, I was watching Ben do some DJing actually earlier on, and it, 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 from the airing cupboard, he's got this kind of DJ setup inside the airing cupboard with flashing lights and DJ setup and stuff like that. So that that was pretty cool as well. Um, and that's pretty much it on the comments, as far as I know. Ina, you mentioned the there was. Is there a workaround? Are there a workaround? I wasn't quite sure what that referred to. If you can give us some more details on that, maybe we can answer that for you. Um, uh, Ina says, I am fine, Matt. Hope you are fine too. Gives a thumbs up and a smiley face as well. Um, still trying to work out why the icons, uh, the emoticons, the emojis don't show up in my uh, in my text. But anyway, that's, that's a, a by the by. Not really a problem. Um, and says, yeah, lots of snow. And uh, minus four degrees in Denmark currently. That's brr, really. We're looking at possible snow in the southwest of England coming up from the south um, over the next couple of days. So it, we might get some, we might not. We don't really get it down here because it's still very, very mild. Um, but yeah, so so the, going back to the website then in that case. So this is, as I say, my website currently. This is the, um, the blog uh, that I mentioned. So this is episode three. And if we just go back a section... As episode two there, which was Meet the Author. You may remember that one. And also episode one was my chat with uh, Tallboy uh, from um, Atlanta in Georgia. So that was a really cool one. That was my first ever podcast. And you can find those now on the blog section of the website itself. So if you go to uh, loveaudio.co.uk and um, let's have a look here. Where are we? So we have a button for that. <laughs> believe it or not there it is uh, if you go to loveaudio.co.uk uh you'll find this on that particular page okay so if you go to the top of the the web page all of the titles are along the top so home on hold marketing dj services voiceover uh, the studio legal and then you click blog and that takes you to this blog page as well which is really cool okay and i'll be adding to that of course as and when i do each of the uh the podcasts and from there of course you can just click the read more bit that opens up this for you, and there's a player in there, which you can then... Hello and welcome.
welcome to the first ever Love Audio Cafe podcast. My name is Paul Weber. Great to be here this afternoon. And my guest, my very special guest, is Corey Tallboy Sanders. So you get the idea. Um, really pleased with how the website looks. And I must just say a quick thank you uh, to uh, Will, who's at uh, thetechnologyshop.com. That's his website, and he very kindly built the website for me. I gave him all the bits and pieces to go with it, and then he uh, did this fantastic web page for me, which is really, really cool. So uh, thetechnologyshop.com, if you're looking for a new website, if you're looking for anything tech-related, in fact, uh, get yourself over to that uh, that website. That's thetechnologyshop.com, and speak to William. He'll sort you out, no problem at all. All right, back to the website then in that case. In fact, I can show you um there we go so i can show you william's website here so this is a technology shop he's based in crediton in devon here in the uk um but of course you know can give you advice worldwide doesn't matter where you are uh, located um but obviously if you are close by to this area then he's the guy to talk to about tech laptops peripherals cabling iphone repairs repair center all that kind of stuff as well okay uh during covid of course they are quite strict and they're not opening the shop unless you have a prior appointment and um the door is locked you won't be allowed in but they then you know can sort out a socially distant way of picking the kit up and all that kind of stuff so um hope that's okay for you now i noticed that uh jacks snuck in a little earlier on uh so hi to you jacks etsy etsy banned me what did you do <laughs> Sammy Superstar says, hello, Paul. Hello to you, Sammy. Um, really enjoying your um, uh, your new show uh, over on um, Amazon, Amazon Video, whatever you call it, or Prime, Prime Video. Uh, Sammy says, your website is very cool. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, it's, um, it's, I'm, I'm really proud of it and really pleased with the, you know, with the way it's laid out and everything else. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, really, really good. Uh, the voiceovers, of course, I've got samples as well. So if you go to um, that particular page, it'll take you to my corporate demo, which is this one. EDE5 hydrolyzes and inactivates cyclic GMP blocking. So there's that one. And then you've got um, the commercials as well. The Pico Gardens Model Shop and award-winning Beer Heights Light Railway. Beer, East Devon. Highfield Garage and Recovery are looking for a qualified roadside breakdown mechanic to work in the Exeter and East Devon area. When your car breaks down, it can be a nightmare. <laughs> so that's the, the kind of commercial side of it. And then you've got the characters' voices as well. Hello, me buddy. Over you. I'm all right. Just milk Daisy and I'll be off down the precinct directly. Right, but. I'm going to do the with the lads for a pint. I say, oh boy, spend thousands and thousands of pints on Brian Trizers for my forthcoming visit to the nice high, swat. You pl so, you know, it's it's a great way of showcasing what I'm capable of as a voiceover artist, which I'm really pleased about as well. And, um, you know, it means that people can have a look around. They can, you know, play the, the, the different uh, samples there with the voiceovers. And, uh, you know, it's always open to other voiceovers as well. If they want to come on board and, you know, um, basically show me what they've got as regards voiceover talent, I can then ha have their show reel on the website as well and maybe represent them through the Love Audio brand. Who knows? Um, but it is something maybe for the future indeed. So worth looking at. Sammy says, very cool. Brilliant. <laughs> and uh, the answer from Ina says, workaround was because I have a Google Ads account but it needs to be approved by sending you a postcard. That is absolutely true. Yes, I had to do the same thing. Uh, this card never arrives. I think it's because I use a private address. No, actually, Ina, uh, it, it does go to a personal address because that's I had that come to me. Um, it may be that they are looking for the business name as opposed, as opposed to your, your individual name. I'm not entirely sure, but um, it's worth getting in touch with the Google help desk and just say to them, you're having troubles, you know, receiving this particular postcard. Is there a different way that you can you can do it to get verified? And maybe they should be able to help you. So I would keep persisting with that uh, if you possibly can, Ina. And it, it is worth doing because once you've done that, of course, then it's verified and you can move forward. All right. It doesn't take very long. I think it's about one or two weeks, maybe maximum 14 days. Um, it doesn't take very long at all. And, and you should get that, that postcard through the post from Google and then it'll all be verified. Uh, Sammy Superstar says, thanks. Uh, Sammy says, how did you like the audio? The audio was great. And, and I, 
I also liked the shot as well, the shot that you created with the candle and the glass. You were drinking far too much, by the way. I hope that was water, young man, <laughs> and not champagne. Um, but it was good, and I liked the two-camera shot as well, you know, back to the computer, back to you, uh, and the computer voice that you created for her as well, which was really good. I'm saying her. Just like it's a person. That's amazing, isn't it? So that, um, if, if those of you are watching the stream haven't seen it yet, Sammy Superstar, um, search for Mac Romance on Prime Video. Just do a search for Mac Romance on Prime Video and you'll see that come up. It's just amazing. See, look at the pilot first. I would, I would watch the pilot first and then watch the first episode. Really good. And Sammy, I hope you're going to be uh, continuing that, um, that theme and giving us more episodes as your romance with the MacBook from whenever it was. Mac, is it, I can't remember, the, is it 1990? I can't remember. Forgive me, I can't remember the, the age of the computer that you're dating, but I know it's far older than you, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really cool. Uh, Ina says, very good work. Um, <clears throat> no problem at all. Sammy says, thank you so much. And again, you're very very welcome um yeah you know what that's that's pretty much wrapped things up we were talking about websites tonight and it's very important um, and let me just give you an example i haven't talked about the website at all properly uh as to why i think it's important to have a website like this so about three months ago four months ago um i had somebody contact me via this page so this is my contact page i've just noticed an error there we need to change that phone number because that's going um but anyway, they, they contacted me via this page and uh, it, it was inquiring about the audio book that, um, that I'm currently narrating. And I'm up to chapter eight out of 22. And next week's stream, Monday night stream next week, is talking about audio books. OK, so if you're interested in that, make sure you join me. I'm going to be recording a chapter. Maybe not all of it, as much as we can fit in within 20, 30 minutes or so. One of the chapters of the book, recording it live in the booth. So the camera, if I can take it off the stand, will be next to me facing into the booth and I'll be voicing it live and recording it on the, on the mixing desk and everything else. So if you're interested in that, then I'll be posting links to that during this week so that you can catch that next Monday night at 8 p.m. UK time, 3 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. Denmark, I think, is an hour ahead. So you're looking at nine o'clock start, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, Ina. <laughs> uh, Sammy says, I was actually drinking ginger ale. <laughs> I'm glad about that. That's really cool. Uh, you were using AKG C1000s. Brilliant. Yeah, no, it was really good. Um, Rich Vibe says, G3. Uh, the Mac is from 1998. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. All right. That's, that's really cool. And um, like I say, it was really entertaining. So if you've not seen it yet, make sure you get yourself over to, uh, to Prime Video and search Mac Romance. Just genius. Well done. Uh, Ina says, yes, it is one hour ahead. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Uh, Sammy says, it still works. Ha ha. Good. Good. Well, we're glad to know that because obviously you're dating it. So, you know, you need it to work <laughs> and, um, you know, you need it to be responsive and, and things like that, it's particularly if you're going to take the thing out for a dinner uh, like you did. Nice candlelit dinner. That was quite romantic. I like that. It's really cool. Um, OK, so look, um, we've kind of come to the end of the stream. But what I wanted to say was, yeah, so so the guys that that uh, got me to do the audio book um, found me via my website. They were searching for voiceover artists. Mine happened to come up on top, which is really cool. Uh, don't forget, they're in Norfolk. They're not in Devon. But here's the rub. The hotel where the story is based is a mile from here. How cool is that? It's just like fate, right? Had to happen. So it's worth having a website purely for people to be able to contact you. Even if it doesn't lead to a job straight away, it's certainly worth building one or at least having one contact page even if it's up on you know on on the, on the internet and stuff like that so that people can get hold of you they know what you do and how to get hold of you and that kind of thing so and that's how that um that particular relationship started so next week as i say i'm going to be talking about the audiobook itself and recording a chapter so if you want to see that in action make sure you join me next monday night at 8 p.m 
uh, UK time, that is GMT, and various other times around the world. Right, now it's time for this. It's the Jingle of the Week. <laughs> Sammy says I might be cheating on her. You better not. It's only episode one. You can't cheat on her yet. <laughs> I know you're getting the M1, so that might be a kind of, you know, a sideline, a bit of an upgrade. But, yeah, develop the story a little more first before you start cheating on her, okay? We want at least five, six episodes in before you start messing around. Um, you need to behave yourself, Sammy, okay? Uh, that's really good to know. Um, so I thought I'd play a jingle for you tonight. This is um, not necessarily... Uh, one that we normally we normally go for the library from from Jam Creative Productions in Dallas. I wanted to slightly deviate from that this week. Um, back in the eighties, nineties, years, two thousands, there was a company, uh, or at least a producer, called Ken Deutsch, and uh, Ken had a great group of singers that uh, used to perform. Um, uh, some great jingles across the world, in fact, and they've got a very distinctive style. Um, Unlike the, the Dallas singers, they've got a very kind of, um, I want to say barbershop. It's not really barbershop. It's slightly, slightly different. They do do barbershop singing, but um, it's slightly different to that. So what I wanted to do was to play you a jingle called Growing in Your City. Growing in Your City, okay? The station that they sing this particular jingle for is called WLNG. WLNG. Have a listen. You never know what will happen. So just tune in and see If it's going on, you'll hear it first on WLNG There's no use in scanning up and down the dial For songs that bring back memories Just stay with us a while 92 has got it now, the live and local scene The East End always counts on us, we're WLNG You never know what'll happen is the key for weather, sports, and traffic tune. WLNG. When you get up in the morning, we start your day out right. We bring you home in the afternoon and keep you company at night. We have personality, your friends in 63. We're proud to be like family. We're WLNG. There you go. That's today's Jingle of the Week from the Ken Deutsch Singers. Uh, they've disbanded, of course. They finished in the year 2010, I believe. They uh, they might have finished... Oh, in fact, they finished in the year 2000, but uh, 10 years later, they released a, a CD, which is what that comes from, um, commemorating the, the, uh, the 10 years prior to that that they'd done jingles for. So that was WLNG from the Ken Deutsch Singers, our Jingle of the Week. Certainly hope you enjoyed that. Now, if you want to support the channel, you can do. You can go to my Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash love audio production. Uh, have a look there and donate if you want to. That's entirely up to you, of course. No pressure. And also, if you would like the merchandise that I have, got T-shirts, also got mugs as well. Uh, Sammy knows that very well. He's got a mug through the post. But if you want merch, then that's where you need to get it. And it is teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash love audios merch store and there's hyphens in between those uh, letters i can't get it any shorter than that but <laughs> um it's a really good uh, good site so that you'll see the different uh, styles of t-shirts and mugs on that particular page okay so that is pretty much it, to be perfectly honest with you. Thank you so much for joining me. hope you uh, enjoyed the show. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe, as I say, and hit that bell button, and that'll let you know when I'm going live next, which is generally every Monday night at 8 p.m. UK time. But on occasions, I do upload stuff during the week as well, and when that happens, at least you'll get a chance to know when that's coming and then take a look at the content, hopefully. Um, Again, thank you so much indeed, and until next time, take care, look after each other, and stay safe. <laughs>